All right, and Aaron, it looks like we're in luck for those of us who really need the rain on our lawns. Not just what we're seeing right now, but what we're getting overnight and into tomorrow as well. Some decent rain, some cooler temperatures on the way as well. But uh, we did have some sunshine earlier this afternoon, and some spots are still seeing the sunshine. But if you look at the Dallas time lapse, once we get to about 3 o'clock, yeah, the rain and storms start to move in. And this rain has really kind of cooled temperatures off across parts of the Metroplex. The problem, though, Though with the rain that we're seeing this afternoon is that it's not really moving much. We put this into motion just over the last hour and you notice it's a good portion of Dallas County, a little bit of Tarrant County, uh, Denton and Collin counties seeing this heavy and steady rainfall over an extended period of time. Some estimations of one to two inches of rain, especially uh, right where you see uh, Denton County, meaning Dallas and Tarrant counties as well. So we're waiting for a flood advisory to come out. If you do have to travel this afternoon, you're just going to want to make sure, you know, 35, 635, 30 through Dallas and Tarrant counties. Just make sure you can take it a little slower, give yourself a little bit of extra time as some of the roadways may be seeing some issues. But once we get into the next hour or two, it looks like most of this activity winds down. And then we wait for the next round of rain and storms so coming with this cold front that we've been talking about. Uh, some much needed rainfall, some much cooler temperatures for early June. June as well, but the models are kind of slowing this front down just a little bit. So what I think this means is we don't see a ton of rain and storm activity uh, until we get into the overnight hours. Here's 2 a.m. You start to see some storms developing out towards Graham, Bowie, Bridgeport as well, but we really start to see all of this fill in. These storms fill in as we get into that morning commute time frame tomorrow. So please keep that in mind. Here's 7 a.m. You've got this heavy rain kind of rolling through areas to the north of I-20, but then we see more of this line extend behind this cold front. These storms are behind the cold front, so that lessens the severe threat some, but I do still think some heavy rain, some gusty winds possible, some ponding on the roads certainly going to be an issue through tomorrow morning. Once we get into tomorrow afternoon, though, we should start to see the rain kind of coming to an end in coverage as we get past one o'clock, certainly in intensity by the time we get into the late morning, early afternoon time frame. But tonight we are going to watch for some gusty winds, some small hail, that's been the possibility even just with some of the storms that we've seen over the last couple of hours. But we've got that widespread coverage through the morning commute time frame on Thursday. Once we get into the afternoon, rain chances start to wind down and the temperatures only getting up to about 80 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. Low 80s for Friday. We've got some stormy weather in the forecast Saturday morning as well. But by Saturday afternoon, we should be drying out and then Sunday, we just crank the heat back up, sunshine 95, and then uh, get very close to 100 by Tuesday, guys.